situation, I got hold it. I felt like it was something that had to be done. I needed this man for my team. This episode of the Foot Champions, or I don't know, I feel like this year I've kind of just taken you on a journey on my main account. I've never done this in any FIFA, but with Foot Champions, you guys have invested so much time in this account, seeing my rewards, seeing my gameplay, that I want to do some other stuff with you guys today. Not only are we going to get to the Foot Champion action in Booyah Nation, let's just say really quickly, I am having by far the worst Foot Champion weekend I have ever had. There's no chance of me getting 36 anymore, and if I'm lucky, I can get 35. Now, the reason I need 35 is for the monthly rewards, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, I've invested some coins into this DeMarcos Squad Builder Challenge. You guys know I only invest in the Squad Builder Challenge if I see myself using the card, and this DeMarcos card is definitely somebody I think I will use a lot in Foot Champions and throughout FIFA because... A lot of times I want to use Sergio Ramos and De Gea, and then every time I get to, I always put Sergio Ramos on the left-hand side because I can run him with Jordi Alba, but I never could play him on the right-hand side because I don't really like Carvin Hall, and there was never really nobody. So these are the players I'm going to be turning in. Now, I do think this is a lot of money. Um, I can't remember if it was Nepenthes or Bateson who gave me this idea, but either way, shout out to both of them uh, for the Squad Builder Challenge idea. Let's go ahead and turn it in and receive our new DeMarcos. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going to take you guys not only am I going to show you guys the foot champion stuff but I'm also going to open up the 535k packs that are that are available to open right now I feel like it'll be pretty cool I'm yet to do a pack opening this this year on this channel so maybe we'll hit something nice big boy DeMarcos though you can see that card is absolutely gorgeous 80 pay, a 90 pace on it 83 physical I'm going to put a nice shadow on him that's going to bump up his pace and his defense and I feel like DeMarcos is going to be one of the best right backs in this game so big ups to number 18 DeMarcos now let's go ahead and jump in to the 35k pack opening the 35k packs the five of them we're going to open those up then we're going to go look at what i've done in foot champions you guys can't laugh at me because it's been horrible and then i'm going to show you the team that i've changed to and why i bought hullet so during this foot champions weekend i did reach my 700 win i did it with 700 and like 169 losses uh, but I'm at 708 wins right now, and I have 171 losses now, so I'm going to show you guys. I've already taken five losses this weekend in the Foot Champions. That's something that we usually don't do, Booyah Nation. As we open up our first packs, we get uh, our first pack. We get the boy um, Vela, and like I said, man, last weekend I went 36 wins, and this weekend, the reason it's so important for me to kind of get a good run at the end here is because if I can end with 34 or 35 wins, then I can still be looking at the top 100 for the monthly rewards but if i happen to choke this then boom i'm done i can't get top 100 for the month so i really 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 got to figure out a way uh to go on a nice little run pack number one was absolutely terrible i'm just gonna go ahead and discard the rest even though i probably could have made some money with those players i want to get a nice walkout for you guys man first pack i used to do these pack openings loads back in people 14 13 15 i just didn't really do nothing in 16 for pack openings now we're back on 17 doing a quick little pack opening and then we're gonna jump into some foot champions action man so let's go ahead and send all that stuff to the trade palm keep it those players just because why not also fitness cards man i need them baby that's that's even why you guys are probably gonna laugh at me but the real only reason i'm doing these because i need fitness cards probably not the right strategy to do as it wastes a lot of money we get a big flare there but it's not a walkout it wastes a lot of money but um i don't know i just feel like uh, I feel like uh, I, I, I can't play like more than one game without fitness. I'm keeping this Terry because with these all these squad builder challenges coming out, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a BPL one here soon. Uh, so I want to make sure I keep him as he's a high BPL overall and uh, he can go towards our squad. Look at that. Ooh, our squad builder challenge if a BPL one does come out this weekend. Booyah Nation. We got two left. Let us get a quick little walkout. Ah, come on, EA. Quick little walkout, man. You ain't hurting nobody's feelings by giving a nice little walkout. The boy Jagielka, we'll take him, throw him into the club. Again, if a squad builder challenge comes out, we can use them. Well, Beck Fernandez, that's not bad. That would have been a good pack in the beginning of FIFA, but now it's just absolutely garbage. Last 35K pack. And uh, we'll call it there and jump into some foot champions action. No walkout for the Booyah Nation. EA's kind of trolling us, man, as we get another. Okay, that's not bad. Smalling's are not a bad card because that boy sells. I'm pretty sure that boy sells. What's he sell for? We have one already as I use him all the time. Uh, let me go ahead and keep the fitness. And I'm going to show you guys my team, man. And you guys are going to laugh because I purchased Hullet. So you can see what I've done this weekend, Booyah Nation. I told you it's the worst start I've ever had. I'm 23 and 5. Now, all for the past six weeks, I've done 35 five times, and I've done 36 last weekend. And I think three of those, we got top 100, or maybe four of those, we got top 100. 
And uh, this weekend, unless I go on a 12-game win streak, I'm going to miss 35 wins for the first time in six weeks. Now, I kept everything the same from last weekend. Yo, Walcott playing striker, Sterling as my cam. But now I got to the point where I, I've changed it. I bought, I, I was running, my team last weekend was this. Now put it up on the screen for y'all to see it. And this is what I ran most of, most of my games this weekend with. But then I started choking. And once I started choking, I started bringing in Obamiang off the bench, 14 games, nine goals. He started being my super sub. Then I brought in the Vardy party, 21 games, 19 goals. So you know Vardy made a lot of appearances, but I wasn't getting W. So for the first time this year, this Conte, as you can see, this one has 306 games played, and I had his card before this one, okay? So I had a card, his inform card, before this one, and now I have this one. So he has pretty much played every game with me this season, and I'm dropping him to bring Hullet and to run Vieira. Now, you're probably like, Scales, why are you doing this? The real reason I'm doing this because I'm ready, I'm ready to drop Blanc. I'm ready to drop Blanc. The way I want to run the team is like this. I didn't even want Hullet back. I just, I want a different center back. I want someone different. And the problem with the whole thing is, is that the center back I actually want is pretty much Varane. Now, the only problem is if I run Varane with this smalling with him, I can't get him on seven cam, seven cam, as I'll show you real quick. But as you see this card right here, with this card, I only get seven. So I don't know what to do. And that's why I went and purchased the boy, um, the boy Hullet. Because now with purchasing Hullet, I could drop Conte, move uh, Vieira to the CDM. And all of a sudden, Blanc and Varane get perfect chem. So the only reason I haven't bought Varane yet is I wanted to give Blanc a chance. And I played one game a week, 1-11-2. The next two, three games, I'll be able to see if my defense is exactly where I want it. If not, then I'm going to invest in the, Blanc, in, in the Varane. Don't know, man. I don't know if this is the right choice i don't know if this is gonna make me better by dropping conte because conte is one of my favorite players but as you guys can see man my worst weekend so far um it's actually laughable man how bad i'm doing and it's not laughable because i no way would i laugh at anybody that goes 23 and 5 because i think that's amazing but after the last six weeks we've done booyah nation i really really am letting myself down and if i can't get it together i'm tef i'm definitely not gonna see top 100 for the month of the first month we're gonna miss it man we got october we got november we need december man we need top 100 for December. Right now, I don't think we're actually going to be here, man. Let me check my friends list real quick. Okay, we are. We're 61st right now. But unless I get at least 34, 35 wins, I could see myself getting kicked out of the top 100, 100%, man. Because I'm thinking about playing a game here with you guys watching. A nice little live com, but I, 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 I'm kind of quiet. You know what? I'll do it. I'm kind of quiet. Uh, but I'm going to play a game with y'all here watching me. All right, let's do it, man. Let's go ahead and get Varane out of here. Uh, we'll play a live com one for y'all. I've yet to do this. So y'all are going to see a live foot champions gameplay. And uh, let's get it on. All right, so we get our first opponent. Let me put some game sound in my ears. And oh, snap, baby. All right, our first opponent. Vieira, Pogba, Vardy Party, James Rodriguez, Sergio Ramos, Smalling. The team is nice, man. So I'm yet to play a live com or play foot champions when I'm recording like this. So I'm, I'm probably, I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm going to play, but hopefully I can play good for us, Booyah Nation. All right, man, we're in here. Let's do what we always do when we start off. Y'all can see exactly what I do. Let's go ahead and get get our get our team looking right. Let's make sure our stay back while attacking is on. Everybody's good to go. Stay forward. We're good. Press the back line. Is that what we got? Get in behind. Press the back line. We good with that? Yeah, it looks like we're good, man. It looks like we're copacetic. Yeah, we're copacetic. Nice passing. I might have Sterling. Sterling, why did he do why did he do that little cutback move? Why did he just go? Why did he stutter with it? That's his game, isn't it? Sterling, Sterling, Sterling! Yes, baby, Sterling! Come on, man. Why did Sterling do that little stutter thing? Y'all, I'm gonna make sure I keep that whole clip in because that's the type of BS that EA needs to sort. Why did he stutter like that? Anyways, big boy Pugba with a good win back in the mid. And Sterling letting one fly that just went over Sergio Ramos and hits the back of the net. Right here, you gotta take ankles, man. You can't, you, you gotta take ankles here, yo. Somebody foul, somebody foul. Foul or steal, foul or steal. Good foul, good foul, good foul. Don't red me, don't red me. Okay, just the yellow, we're good. Yes, Jordi Alba. My boy Sterling's on it. My boy Sterling! De Gea! Damn, yo. De Gea's on fire right now. Ball's up. Ronaldo's there. Flicked out. We go to halftime. Right now, I'm thinking the Vardy party. Look at this cheese. We need another goal. Right now, I'm thinking the Vardy party. Let's go see what he's running and how we can counter what he's doing. Um, you want to pay attention to all this stuff when you're playing foot champs. Walcott does well. 
Pogba holding it up nicely to Cristiano. I got Hullet making the overlap. Hullet! Yes, baby! We invested a lot of coins in this card, and I got rid of them, and I didn't want them back, but... To be able to have Ronaldo on 8 cam, I have to have a legend going into him. So I moved Vieira to the CDM role, and I decided, you know what? If I got to have a legend going into him, it's going to have to be the boy Hullet. And he comes up big, man. He scored in every single game I've played him so far. The three the three games I've played him are the two games. He scored in every single one. So, yo, God, 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 Guys, guys. Guys. Guys, the kickoff glitch. You got to take out legs, man. I forgot I was talking. I thought I did everything right. Walcott with it. Cristiano, I see Sterling. Sterling! Boom! Let's go, baby. Take out legs. Do not give him the counter. I mean, the, the, the kickoff. Don't give him the kickoff glitch, Booyah Nation. It's that simple. What a play. Sterling, that's why I'm running those front three, man. It's crazy speed. The pass, the through pass is in. It's just nuts. Take him out. I missed. I can't take him out here. I can't. We got to get ball nice. I know y'all are going to laugh. I'm up 3-1. I'm still attacking. This is just how I play, man. I stay attacking, y'all. I don't want to... If I'm going to lose, I want to lose to knowing I, I did my best to score as many goals as possible, man. I'm not going defensive. Sometimes I do it, but more importantly, I usually just stay attacking the whole time. It's what's gotten me 36, 35 wins a lot. Walcott! Woo! Baby! Come on, boys. We got a lot of games to win. We need this one. We need this one. Cristiano! Big boy De Gea. It's time for the Vardy party. Now, is it Walcott or Sterling? They both have the same amount of fitness. I'm going to pull out Sterling. I'm going to keep Walcott in the game. We're going to bring in the boy Vardy. Let's see what happens. Ball into the middle. Cristiano with a chance. Walcott. Walcott. The decision to keep in Walcott. Bang. The decision to keep in Walcott was clutch. 64th minute. We make it 4-1. to one. Check it out, man. Walcott not playing games. His finishing is clutch. We push it to 4-1 to one against a fantastic team with Neymar, Ronaldo, and Burkamp. All right, so a corner to end the game off. It looks like we're going to get the W. Obviously, the game's not over yet, so I never want to speak too soon. We can knock forward right here. The Vardy party keeps it, the Vardy party keeps it alive. Ronaldo with a chance, and he's gone. Cristiano to make it 5-1. It's the easy-peasy goal. Even with Jordi Alba chasing, I don't care. Cristiano. Wow. How did, I, how did I fluff that? Wow. How did I fluff that? How did I fluff that, man? That is incredible. All right, man, so my first foot champions live com. Ronaldo didn't get a goal. It was Hullet, Sterling with a double, and the boy Walcott with one. No goal for Ronaldo. Two assists for Cristiano, though. We get a big W, man. I told you guys, man, it's, it's been a crazy weekend. I've struggled to score. And you're probably like, well, skills, 22 shots, you got four goals. Still, man, I, th I feel like with 22 shots last weekend, I would have had like six, seven, eight goals, to be honest. But either way, it's an important victory for us because that's going to set us all the way up to 24 wins now and five losses, which means now I need to go. What is it, man? How many games do I have left? Probably 11 games left, I think. So I need to go on an 11-game win streak, which is not unheard of. Last weekend, I went 32, 31, and 2. Um, so I think I could pick up 11. We're going to have to try really hard, obviously. But I want to try to pick up these 11 games and get at least 20, 35. If that's not possible, then I got to pick up 10 of them so I can get 34 wins. So that is the goal. That was my first live com on the Foot Champions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did pack opening. We did a little squad builder challenge. We did some Foot Champions. And you saw me by Hullet. So a lot happened in this episode. If you guys enjoyed this, big old thumbs up. Thank you for coming through the journey of my account with me and in the Foot Champions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Big thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe. And I love you, Booyah Nation. I appreciate you taking the time out your day to watch my video. I'll see you later. Booyah. Another weekend? That means another Foot Champions tournament. Your boy went 36 wins last weekend, which got us 59th in the world. That means anything under 36 this weekend is an epic failure. On your screen right now is how I completed the Aubameyang Squad Builder Challenge, but why am I showing you this? See, every weekend I feel like I do the exact same thing. I kick off, I start off, I go on this epic run, I beast and feast, I think I'm going 40 and 0, but then I choke like Eminem in 8 Mile. I just choke it up, I lose like 2 or three games and then I go on another incredible run now I'm not spoiling nothing but as I went on the little the little choke your boy decided to make an investment in this Aubameyang. Now, this investment, well, we'll talk about that in just a second. This is the team I get matched up against in game two. Game one, I actually lost the footage. Game two, I get matched up against a full legend team except for a couple beast players. And now you can watch the gameplay and see what happens. Real quick up on your screen, James. And you're probably like, Skills, why are you showing us this? James, congratulations. You just won.